Hey guys, Mark here. Welcome back to my channel. In this video, I want to share to you how to upload your deferred input VAT schedule through CSV file with preparing your monthly or quarterly value-added tax return through BIR electronic filing and payment system. The beauty of this technique is that it's easier and faster and you will save a lot of time. And that time can be dedicated to some other more important tasks. All you have to do is copy and paste to the template that I will share to you and upload it when you prepare the report. But before we do that, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel by clicking the subscribe button below. And if you have some questions, just leave a comment and I will try to answer everything. Let's go and let's get started. So here we go. This is the monthly VAT returns in the BIR Electronic Filing and Payment System or EFPS. And since we are working with Deferred Input VAT, so we will be working with Schedule Number 3 under Line 20A for Input Tax on Purchases of Capital Goods Exceeding 1 Million Deferred for Succeeding Period. So this is a table that we will be working on. And in my example, I don't have addition for the current month, so I have to delete this line under Schedule A. So what we will be doing as an example is to upload the data for Schedule B or Purchases Importations from Previous Period. Now, instead of doing it manually, line per line, like for example, January 18, 2018, Office Equipments, for 1 million, with VAT of and estimated life in months of 60 and remaining life of 3 and then add another line and then input another data like February 23, 2018 and so on and so forth we will do it using the upload CSV process so now, let's go to the sample data that we will be loading. So the columns here from column A to H, these are basically the same from the table format from the BIR form, this one. So I have already populated the data as an example, so of course the date, the description of the asset, this equipment, transportation, building, etc. Then the amount net of VAT and the remaining VAT or the balance input of tax from previous period. Of course, the estimated useful life and the remaining life. And then you have the allowable input tax for the period and the balance of input tax to be carried to the next period. So the total balance of input tax to be carried to the next period is 12.5 million as per example. So the columns I highlighted in red are the columns or the data that we will be copying to the template that we will be converting into a CSV file. So now let's open the Excel file template that we will be converting into CSV file. So I have already prepared it here, so let's open it. Deferred Input VAT Schedule CSV Template. As you can see, the type is still Microsoft Excel Worksheet. So let's go ahead and open the file. So this is still blank. So going back to our source data, so let's copy the data from row number 2 all the way down to row number 26 and paste it into the template that we will be converting into a CSV file. Make sure that the column C and D don't have a comma because we are converting this into a CSV file. So we need to change the format, number, and check the use of separator. Click OK. So now we have already populated our template all we have to do now is to convert this into a CSV file. 
So the process is simple, just click File, Save As, choose the folder that we will save, the converted CSV file, and then from the Save As type, please choose CSV MS-DOS. save just click yes and now let's go to the folder where we save the CSV file here now you can see that there's already two types of files one for Microsoft Excel and one is for Microsoft Excel separated values file or CS and now that we have already created the CSV file for uploading, we can now go back to the BIR EFES and upload the file. So just click Upload CSV, choose File, and this is the file that we are loading. Make sure that's the CSV. Click open and then click upload file. And then you are done. So easy and way, way faster. Imagine if you are doing it line per line, it will take you a lot of time. Instead, by loading it via CSV, you just have to click the upload file and then you're done. So to make sure that our numbers are correct, we need to counter check this total 12,459,000 to our working file which is here. So it's the same. So meaning our data is correct. So now all we have to do is click OK and proceed filling up the other fields in the VAT returns. That's it guys. I hope you've learned something and you can apply it when you prepare your monthly or quarterly value added tax return. Stay tuned because in my next video, I want to share to you how to prepare the quarterly summary list of sales and purchases using CSV file instead of using BIR data entry system. See you!